Good evening, everyone. Welcome, welcome here to the Atlanta Council. Uh, we're doing something special. We're going to start this evening on the record for the sake of the people of Albania for our website, and then we'll move into a private conversation with the minister. So let me go ahead and get, begin our evening by welcoming all of you. I'm Damon Wilson, Executive Vice President here at the Atlantic Council, and we're just delighted to be able to welcome for this dinner conversation the Foreign Minister of Albania, uh, Didmar Bushati. Thank you very much for being with us uh, on your visit here to Washington. Um, we have a fantastic uh, group uh, conversation for our conversation this evening. Uh, I want to tip my hat first to having our board directors, uh, Walt Slocum and Frank Kramer, who are with us as well, a former ambassador uh, to Albania, Marcy Reese, uh, as well as those who've been able to join us from the administration, from state, who are going to be joined uh, from the NSC as well. Um, we are delighted to host you, particularly to host you here in Washington in the wake of uh, Secretary John Kerry's visit uh, to Albania. And in many respects, I think of this as how can we reciprocate the hospitality that Albanians have just shown to American officials? Um, and it is difficult to do so given the enthusiasm with it's which sweet. the Albanian people welcome American officials in Tirana. Uh, but we want to do our part here at the Atlantic Council to reciprocate that hospitality to you. Uh, we've had a fantastic partnership with the uh, ambassador and the embassy, and we're looking forward to this evening in part because we're not only allies, but we recognize by the reception that Americans receive in Albania that there is actually quite something special to this relationship. Um, we have a strategic partnership that's been negotiated, uh, but there are many in this room who have actually played a role in helping to build that relationship over the years through NATO enlargement, through the bilateral enlargement, through our approach to greater integration in the Balkans. I think here at the Atlantic Council, part of the reason we wanted to be with you tonight is that we're not complacent. Um, we understand, we recognize the crises that are buffeting Europe today, the particular impact that they have in the Balkans, uh, and we look forward to discussing them with you tonight from the migration crisis to foreign fighters to energy economic challenges. Uh, but part of what we wanted to do is recognize that Albania has played a really interesting role in terms of stability in this region. And as part of the Atlantic Council work here on the future of Europe, we're worried about and thinking about the future of the Balkans, or as you've called it, the Adriatic Europe, and how that fits into the greater narrative of reanimating the vision of integrating these countries into the transatlantic community completely. It's, there is unfinished business on the table, and we look forward to working with you to help finish some of that extraordinarily important business. The minister joined us a couple of years ago here at the Atlantic Council for a major conference on the future of a Europe whole, free, and at peace. And over the course of your time as minister, we're still working on that. We've seen some progress in the Balkans, um, but that vision is far, com for, far from complete. So we look forward to hearing from you tonight and continuing that business. So please, let me turn it over to you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Damon, for organizing this uh, meeting. It's always a pleasure to come back here, and it's uh, always a pleasure to be among friends who know the region and who have contributed for stability and democracy in our in our uh, volatile region. This year marks the 20th anniversary of the reestablishment of diplomatic relations between Albania and the United States. And as you uh, rightly pointed out, uh, Secretary Kerry was uh, in Albania on a keenly symbolic day, the 14th of uh, February, to mark uh, this event. Uh, we are looking at the 25 years of outstanding relations and during which the assistance of uh, the United States has been pivotal. I think pivotal for Albania but also for the entire region and if the so-called Adriatic Europe, I like to call it in this, in this way, is nowadays at peace and this is largely to, due to the U.S. assistance and U.S. Uh, engagement in the region. If two, two decades ago uh, the challenges Balkans was facing were very different and U.S. and the concerted actions between U.S. and EU helped our region to stabilize, today we are confronting a set of uh, other uh, challenges, uh, rule of law, organized crime, corruption, alignment of, uh, of views and positions with that of EU and NATO, uh, radicalization, countering violent extremism, all these elements are calling for concerted, uh, concerted actions and for regional 
for regional cooperation. Last April, I visited Washington. I was received by uh, Secretary Kerry, and we managed to sign also uh, the strategic partnership between Albania and the United States. It's a very interesting document. We like to promote it as much as we can because it uh, uh, streamlines the cooperation between uh, our, our countries. Tonight, I would like to share with you a few thoughts and to have an exchange of views uh, on uh, the progress we are making uh, towards EU accession. We have been granted uh, candidate status um, in June 2014, which is an interim step before the country is sitting in the accession table and, and opening the real menu of discussion with, uh, with European Union. It does not come as a surprise for all of you that have been working in the region or for the region that U.S. is a staunch supporter also of the uh, EU accession of uh, Balkan countries, and Albania is, n is not an exception in this, in this direction. The, the, the strategic partnership that we have signed together uh, helps Albania and steers our, our, our efforts also in, in, in this direction, especially the rule of law uh, related uh, projects and programs that we are, that we are implementing. Uh, the second uh, aspect of uh, t tonight's discussion is related to the uh, follow-up of the strategic partnership between our countries almost uh, uh, one year after we signed these documents and the areas and the fronts, especially international fronts, we have, been, we have been cooperating so far. And the third one is an exchange of views on, uh, uh, on, the, uh, on the European security environment w in which we find ourselves today. And I think uh, I had a chance to uh, discuss with uh, some of you before we entered into this uh, dinner that when I was here six months ago, the menu of discussion was uh, quite different from nowadays. At the time, our main focus was eastern flank, uh, the security architecture of Europe that has been challenged by, uh, by illegal annexation of, of, of Crimea. But now it seems that the menu of discussion is much richer. We're discussing about uh, southern flank, uh, North Africa, the way how this is impacting the uh, security architecture. Migration that has unfortunately transformed enlargement policy and enlargement process so much needed in, in the Western Balkans as a second tier issue. And uh, we speak also about the rise of extremes nowadays, especially in, 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 in Europe, which use more or less the same rhetoric as, uh, as some other, as some other uh, countries that do not necessarily share the same values and the same objectives as we do. We speak nowadays and we confront ourselves with uh, radicalization, with countering violent extremism, preventing extremism. Um, in, in, in volatile societies. So the menu is, 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 is uh, much richer. We speak today um, about uh, energy security, and I know that uh, this house is, 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 working, uh, is working quite hard on uh, reaffirming the transatlantic bonds, and especially given the fact that uh, in, in few months we are going to uh, meet and take important decisions in, 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 in Warsaw. So these are some of the topics uh, uh, I would like to uh, discuss with you tonight, and I hope this is going to be a friendly conversation, and uh, you will allow us and myself also to eat a little bit. Exactly. Thank you. All right. Terrific. Terrific. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.